So, best feeling in the world. Okay, this is a this is obviously a, a fantastic case um, using an IRS system to uh, remove a uh, quite a large file quite far down uh, the root canal space of this upper right five. So um, this case was um, was re uh, referred to me by a dentist just up the road, and um, the the previous dentist apparently had uh, fractured the file. They had moved on, and um, and they were presented with this case. And, and the patient, she's a lovely lady, really, really, really nice. And essentially, she wanted um, for me to just remove the, um, the the file in the first instance. And then she was going to go back to her normal dentist to have the root canal uh, treatment completed. Now, for all of you that aren't in the UK, um, the, the, the way it works here in the UK is we have private dentistry and then we have kind of government um, subsidied uh, dentistry, which is the NHS essentially. So um, the NHS dentistry uh, root canals are uh, relatively cheap compared to uh, the private dentistry ones. So, um, you know, rightly or wrongly, the NHS root canals about sixty pounds uh, English pounds, and um, and I charge upwards of six fifty to maybe even sometimes seven nine five to do uh, root canal treatments. So. She came in. She wanted this file removed, um, and then she wanted to how much the file, how much it'd be to remove the file, and then she wanted to go back to her uh, normal dentist to, to to ensure that it was cheaper. Now, what I did is I explained to the patient that by the time I have spent all the time and the effort on removing the file, um, I might as well finish uh, the root canal treatment because um, if I was just to charge a, a kind of like an hourly rate for the file removal, um, then it's, it's, it's pretty much the same cost as, as the root canal itself. So again, rightly or wrongly, I don't charge um, patients to remove files. Um, you know, other end endodontists might uh, disagree with me here, but I, I feel like it's a bit of a practice builder. So um, essentially what, what I like to do is, um, if I think I've got a good shot at removing this file uh, relatively easy, I will just throw it into the cost of, of, of doing the completing the root canal. Um, again, other people might disagree with that, um, but that's just the way I work. And, and also this is kind of like a bit of a um, an idea of having, uh, you know, creating like a service or just doing nice things for people and also removing files is is is, is really really fun uh, because it's super challenging when you get these out it's 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 absolutely the best feeling in the world so if we look at the x-ray here we can see that we've got an upper right five um and um it's it, it's not obviously clear if this is a single rooted tooth or a double rooted tooth I would say um, given uh, you know uh, experience usually an upper five is single rooted um, and, and 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 when I when I when I assess where the file is I think possibly when I've got my microscope and I and I and I open up the access cavity I'm going to be able to see this file relatively easy okay and that is one of the first things you need to think about when you're assessing a tooth for file removal can you see the end of the file now we've got some amazing dentists um, there's one in Japan um, called Yoshi I can't remember his second name, and um, he 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 does crazy, crazy, crazy things with removing files, removing files, small small files around bends. Um, but um, really, if I'm honest with myself, I am not the the best dentist in the world for removing files. You know, I know my limits, but I think there was a bit of pretty good shot with removing this file. Another um, thing we need to do further on from once we've done the consult with the patients is that we need to take a CBCT. So um, you might think to yourself, well, this file here looks, you know, pretty straightforward. It's in a nice straight canal. Um, it's probably one canal and I'll probably be able to see it. And it'll be nice and easy to remove and I don't need a CBCT. I am now quite uh, um, firm with patients. It's, um, it's a CBCT or nothing in these types of cases. And in fact, when you look at this CBCT, you can now see that the, 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 the this tooth has got uh, a deep um, split 
maybe in the mid 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 third of this tooth and this is significant because i suppose in a way you could say that the file you can see why the file is fractured because um i suppose in a way you could call this kind of an s tape an s shape kind of um canal morphology the where this file is going to sort of or where this file's been and that's obviously put like a kind of a um, like a torsional uh, fracture or, or, a, or a cyclic fracture on on this file, and that's where it's it, it's it's broken away. And um, you know, on the periapical here, you can see that the file is nice and straight. But when we look at the uh, cone beam CT scan, it's 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 kind of in a curve, and that is significant for file removal. Um, when you've got a file that's sort of around a curve, it's flexed against. Um, the curvature of a, of a canal and that that's kind of lodges it in and also sometimes well when you're removing dentin to kind of get around this file um, it can kind of unflex and then and then sort of dig itself in and I'm not explaining that very well um, but hopefully when I when we go through this case I'll I'll try and demonstrate to you what I, what I mean by that so First of all, we're going to just assess the, the the tooth, and we can see here that it is not in the best of shape. This tooth, we've got a really dirty uh, GIC or uh, glass ionoma uh, temporary filling, and then there is a uh, there's a composite filling, I believe, mesially, um, which is loose. And then obviously we take this temporary filling out here, and it's just all nasty inside. It's got all sorts of um, bacteria and maybe bits of food and things like that and essentially that needs to be cleaned nicely with an ultrasonic tip the great thing about the ultrasonic tip is it just cleans all the nastiness out and then we're just going to do an assessment of the cavity here we can see that there are two obvious canals and then just to the right here we can see like maybe there's a little bit of uh, sort of calcium hydroxide that's sort of weld in the place where the uh, the file is but we can't obviously see the file so as you uh, probably aware of my most of my videos I like to use ultrasonic activation so we're going to use um, the irrigants this is sodium hypochlorite and then I'm just going to activate the irrigants and it can just get rid of all the nastiness that's sort of collected inside the canal space here and then as we uh, irrigate that kind of pond water type activated irrigants it gets a bit more clear and we can we can see that um, the visibility isn't perfect so I'm just going to use these diamond tipped ultrasonics here just to remove some of the coronal dentin just to just to open up this canal space and you're going to need this to get your instruments down to remove this file further assessment of the cavity as well we can see there's decay um, and uh, again it's really really important that you remove all the decay because there's a possibility right at the start that you remove the decay and the tooth isn't savable and all you you know you could just do the root canal remove the file and find out the tooth isn't savable so oh, oh, clean clean the canal up get it all nicely clean and you can just see that there's the tip of the file which can be seen just there and that's nice so we can see the file that's this is the great thing. You, you, as soon as you can see the file, you, you're on to a winner. So again, I'm just going to open up the coronal dentin a bit further with these ultrasonic tips, um, because whatever instrument I'm going to use to remove this file, be it ultrasonics or the IRS system or even a loop system, I'm going to need enough space for us to push the, the instrument down there. Obviously, I just need to be mindful of, um, of, of not removing too much dentin. And then you'll see me using these paper points all the way through um, here and you can just see again the the the, the end of the fraction instruments. The irrigant is so far down in the canal that it pools down there, and, and just using your normal aspiration technique or even you know your three in one tip, which you've got to be careful of um, doing that down the canal, um, is it doesn't suffice. So you're gonna have to use like a little paper point to get to get down there. And once we can see the file what you're going to do is you're just going to activate the file with a very long thin tipped ultrasonic tip so again it, you can't use your ultrasonic tip that you have on your uh, on your chair here because it's too strong and these little little tiny um, endodontic ultrasonic tips will fracture with too much um, activation and what you're trying to do is you're just trying to activate this uh, file and try and loosen it a little bit and sometimes when you use these ultrasonic tips 
um, just a little tiny bit of activation actually just dislodges the tip and, and actually it's quite easy to remove but you can see in this case that the uh, the 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 the, the file is not moving at all, so it's proper, proper jammed in there. And at this point, I'm thinking to myself, well, I think there's probably enough of the file sticking out, and I'm going to um, forlornly um, try and get an, an, um, uh, like a sort of red trifine burr around this file. So with the IRS system, what you're going to try and do is try to cut a channel around the file so you can kind of slip... Uh, the IRS system on there so um, I'm just being really really gentle here and I'm and I'm trying to sort of push the file inside this trefine burr and trying to cut around and after inspection you can see that you know the trefine burr has not worked there's no removal of dentin at all and and I think on on assessment I think that trefine burr is too small so we're going to go um, one size up so we've gone from a red to a, to, a, to a black and this is a little bit too, the diameter of this black instrument is too uh, large to fit into the sort of coronal portion of the excess cavity. So I'm just going to make a little bit of space with these diamond tip ultrasonic tips. Um, so we're going to we're going to irrigate and we're going to um, activate, dry it with a paper point, and then finally we can get kind of get this black black trefine bird to cut the canal, uh, cut a channel around the file, and. Um, you can notice now that there's there's been a little bit of cutting around this uh, this this file, and um, as you irrigate the dentin away, you can sort of um, again activate and then remove it, and then a bit of paper point. You can see that um, the file is slight, slightly more exposed, and and again, I'm I'm living on hope here. I'm gonna try and get an IRS assembly ar around this file. And to try and slip it over and trying to grab it, and, you know, I'm, I'm always in a rush. I'm always trying to, um, trying to get this out as quickly as possible. But it's it's just just not work. And when I say I'm in a rush, you know, it's for the patient's best interest. It's best that they don't sit there for for the full two hours trying to remove this file. But you know, I cannot remove um, the 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 file. So. I can see here that the f the file is definitely loose. You know, a little bit of activation here, um, and and a little bit of the the, the using the trefine burr has sort of loosened the file slightly within the um, within the canal. So what I'm going to do now is rather than try and cut it with the IRS system, I am going to just try and remove dentin around the file. Um, with my ultrasonic tips and and what I'm going to do is it's, it's kind of twofold here I'm trying to loosen the file and um, the grip of the file by removing some of the uh, dentin around it but also that the activation of the file with these ultrasonic tips hopefully tries to um, tries to sort of vibrate this file out and as you can see here I'm I'm trying with uh, um, with uh, with the ultrasonic tips with the irrigants and I'm going to try and put the IRS system on there to try and pull it out and unfortunately the file just um, just doesn't stick as far out as I'd like it to for us to grip it on so when we slip the IRS system over um, I feel like it, 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 at this point in time the files doesn't stick out enough and and really it's just gonna get that kind of the nubbing of the end of the file and, it, and it's just not gripping you know and, and and any other file which is a bit loose you'd probably be able to grip it but this one is really solidly jammed in 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 the canal here so lots and lots of irrigant lots and lots of activation and um, you know at this point now you know after all this activation this file is very 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 loose and this is this is a nice feeling because you're gonna get kind of butterflies in your stomach that you know that this this file is itching to get out but also it's very very frustrating because you know you've been here for maybe like 45 minutes to an hour and it is really really loose and it's just not going anywhere so lots and lots of activation trying to trying to sort of vibrate this this file out with these ultrasonic tips like i said before you know um just the act of you um uh, irrigating and activating the file can kind of vibrate um the sort of or unwind the file from uh, the canal space and then we kind of get to the point now where the file is 
very, 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 very loose. I mean, this is rattling around and I'm, I'm very, very surprised that this isn't um, just falling out by itself. And I can see that there's lots and lots of space around this file and I've got a really, really good chance of getting the IRS system around this tooth. So, uh, around this file, sorry. So I'm just gonna slip the IRS around. Visibility is really, really tough in these cases. And um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna screw it on and um, I can feel now that I'm giving a little bit of a push and I know that's really, really gripping on. And when I pull this out, look what comes out the end. We've got the file on the end and that's it, you know, really, really happy. Um, the, I told the patient straight away and she sort of fist pumped the sky and, and this is, and this is fantastic feeling. This is, um, this is many, many years of experience, many, many years of toil and trouble um, to, to, to get to this point. But that, that is uh, just a, a fantastic result. Um, and you know, you might be here because you're trying to learn to remove these files in, in your own practice, or you might just be here because you're just dead, dead curious, you're a general dentist, and you just wanna know how uh, files are removed. Um, why, whatever your reason you're here for, um, if you like these videos, please, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, you have any criticisms, you have any um, any any questions? Please, please uh, comment in the video below, and I we I answer everybody's questions. And thank you, and I will see you uh, next week with another video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.